How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be heading back into the story of the Broly Bros, with what if the Broly's were twins? If you missed the last part where we covered the Universe 6 tournament and the beginning of the Black Arc, then make sure to click the link up above to check it out. Today, we're going to be continuing the story of Broly Black, so if you like this video and want to see the next part faster, then let's see if we can get this video to 450 likes, as if we can hit that, then I'll make sure to make another part faster. Before we begin, I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my amazing patrons, as your support really helps keep me going as I try to build the channel back up. If you'd like to become a patron as well, then make sure to click the link down below to pledge, it would really mean a lot. With all that out of the way, let's get right back into this video. Broly Black has arrived into the past looking for Trunks, and has come across his alternate selves. Bio reiterates that this him isn't him at all. He may not be evil like his original self, but this person doesn't have the same mannerisms as him at all. This is an imposter. Black says that he's correct, he's not Broly at all, but something much better. Now that he knows there are other timelines still around, he can have even more fun destroying everything around. Bio says he's not gonna let that happen, and Broly isn't either. Trunks was one of his first friends, and he feels like the death of Future Bulma and everybody else is all his fault due to his brother getting in the way once again. He's going to get to the bottom of this and try and reason with this imposter Z Broly. The Broly Bros go up to fight Black, and while he is extremely powerful, he can't handle the power of two Brolys fighting perfectly in sync. Black struggles to get these two off of him, and he manages to land some good blows in on him, but once Broly transforms into a Super Saiyan form, it's over for him. Black is slammed into the dirt, and Broly stands over him the key blast aimed right at his face. Broly asks him why he looks like his brother, and how exactly he is. Black laughs, saying he knows exactly who he is. Black powers up, and begins to morph and change. The change begins to burn Broly, so he gets off of Black and looks at what he's becoming. Bio looks in shock. It is him after all, but how? Black stands up, now transformed into his bio Broly self. Black attacks Broly again, who tries to block, but is burnt bad by the hit. Bio transforms to combat the monster, and when the two go face to face, their strikes don't really do anything to each other. The most that happens is that their sludge combines with each other, and the strikes go right through them. Black didn't expect to not be able to hurt Bio, and tries to amp up his power to no avail. Also, Black severely miscalculated how acidic his new bio body is. He only tried it out for a little bit, and now once he has, he loses a very valuable item. The Time Ring. With Black transforming, the Time Ring got absorbed into his body, and was staying in his body. And since Black is fighting for a long period of time, the ring stays there and eventually melted away. Leaving Black, stranded in the past, unbeknownst to him. Bio realizes he isn't getting anywhere like this, and is actually just killing himself since their sludge is being combined. Broly is able to blast Black off of him, and attempt to blast him away to the best of his ability. Black tries to fight back, but Broly's barrage of key is blowing huge chunks off of his body, and since Bio weakened him by taking some of the sludge into his own body, these key blasts are fatal. Black still isn't going down without a fight though, and launches chunks of sludge at Broly to burn him away. Luckily, Goku fires key blasts at these sludge pieces to protect Broly, and with Broly and Bio firing everything they have at Black, it is enough to extinguish the pieces of sludge, and in turn, destroy Broly Black. That's right, Black is dead pretty early here. Basically, the Bio form is really powerful and deadly, but has a huge drawback where it's easy to blow away chunks of the body since the sludge isn't as durable as human skin. Bio knows his weaknesses, and so does Broly, so when you have two people who know exactly how to kill you, trying to kill you, it's not gonna go so well. Bio reverts back to normal and asks how that was him, as he shouldn't really exist in the future, so how did he come to be and start killing everybody? Trunks says he has no idea either, and just thought it was the Broly based off of his looks. He is extremely thankful though, as now Black is dead and his future is saved. He'd be happy to take him to the future with him, so they can find out why Bio existed there. The two say that would be nice, but Beerus stops him, and he says that that wasn't Bio at all, as they didn't have the same key, and before they go recklessly time travel again, they need to figure out who that was. They do eventually discover the death of future Shin, and in turn future Beerus, and while they wait for the time machine to be refueled, they discover the existence of Zamasu, and how he asked Zuno if he could swap bodies with a mortal. Beerus, Whis, and Goku go to confront Zamasu before he kills Gowasu, and discover that he wanted Bio's body since his sludge monster form clean sweeped the tournament and impressed Zeno. If he had a body like that, then he could rule the universes to the fullest. With that info, Beerus destroys Zamasu, and the present is saved from all of that meddling. 
With present Zamasu gone and the existence of Zamasu revealed, there is no need for the Broly's to go into the future since they all know who Black was, and now that's prevented from happening in the present. Trunks thanks him all for their help, and before he goes, Broly tells Trunks to maybe look out for his brother in the future, as he may have returned to Earth like he did back in his time. Trunks says he'll keep an eye out and returns back to his future. Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the video, but guess what? I'm moving up in the world of sponsorships. This video is sponsored by Fandomian, who sells some really cool anime and manga merch, and a bunch of other cool merch for some pretty cool prices. If you want to get some cool outfits and a bunch of other stuff for an even lower price, then make sure to click the link in the description down below and put in discount code DAMON for 5% off your order. Again, that's code DAMON for 5% off of your order. Hopefully, you won't regret your purchases. Now, let's get back to the video. In the future, Trunks is able to heal Mai back to normal, and he informs her of the death of Black. After a small celebration, the two go off to where Broly told them Z showed up originally, just to see if he's buried somewhere there, too. Once they get to that area, Trunks immediately senses a small, faint key energy, and finds Z Broly trapped in ice. Trunks look at it, and wonders how he's still alive, and how he actually ended up on Earth in this time, since he never even knew it existed. Maybe he could sense Goku here, and his hatred led him to this planet. He doesn't know. Should he take him out of this ice? If he's here and Super is not, then Z killed his brother, and might kill him if he takes him out. Maybe it would be best to leave him here. Before Trunks gets to make a true decision, a key blast is fired near them, and they look up to see Zamasu standing over them. Zamasu asks Trunks where Black is, and Trunks is terrified by just seeing Zamasu. How is he still alive? He's supposed to be destroyed in the past. Zamasu fires multiple key blasts in Trunks' direction, which he takes Mai and dodges, but unfortunately the blasts directly hit the ice where Broly is at, freeing him from his ice prison. Broly looks around, wondering where he is, and Zamasu confuses this Broly for Black, and asks him what he's doing with the mortals now. Broly ignores him and goes to fly away, before Zamasu stands in his way, demanding an answer. Broly swats away Zamasu, and Dekai retaliates back, angering Broly to transform into his legendary Super Saiyan form. Broly and Zamasu battle, with Broly getting stomped pretty easily by Zamasu, due to him being so much stronger. But Trunks takes his distraction and stabs Zamasu in the back while he's attacking Broly. Zamasu goes down hard, but stands right back up. Due to his immortality, he isn't going to be dealt with that easily. Broly comes back in with his attacks, and while he isn't doing much as Zamasu now, he's getting stronger as his fight goes on, so he'll catch up eventually. Only if Zamasu gives him the chance though, as who knows how long Broly can keep up before dying. Trunks is more worried about what'll happen if Broly does win. If he does, then Trunks has to deal with him as well. And if he killed Super Broly, then he'll definitely end up killing him too. He doesn't want to go back and get help in the past so soon, but he's probably gonna need to. Trunks takes Mai and goes to escape, but Zamasu shoots him down, saying he's not letting the mortals get away anymore. As he's talking though, he gets slammed away by Broly into the rubble. Unlike a Saiyan, Zamasu isn't getting any stronger as he regenerates himself, and is actually getting mentally weaker as he gets thrashed so much by Broly, and he doesn't know for how much longer he can keep this up. He decides to just end this as quickly as possible by blowing up the planet and letting these mortals just die in the vacuum of space. Zamasu flies into the air and launches his most powerful blast at the planet to obliterate it. Trunks yells out no and blasts a buster cannon to repel the attack. Trunks is getting pushed back, though he's giving it his all to protect his planet. He won't let it go out like this. As Zamasu is pushing, he feels his attack weakening and is terrified once he sees Broly join Trunks in pushing back the attack. He didn't think the beast would have the capability of thinking to repel it. Unfortunately for him, Broly isn't as mindless as he thought, and along with Trunks, they destroy Zamasu's attack and hit him with their own head-on. Trunks is able to angle the attack slightly towards the sun, sending Zamasu straight into it to burn. Once he's landed in the sun, Zamasu begins to burn up, his body continuously trying to heal itself as he gets destroyed by it. With Zamasu dying every second in the sun, his mind has no time to react to what's happening, so, he won't be able to escape, and he burns off in the sun for all eternity. Trunks steps away from Broly, and tells him thank you for the help. Broly reverts back to normal as well, and asks who Trunks is and where he is. Trunks is confused on why this Broly is acting calm. He says that he's on Earth, and if he remembers anything that happened before he came here, Broly thinks for a moment and says that, no, he doesn't. All he remembers is a bright light, and then just infinite cold. Does Trunks think he can help him? Trunks laughs. Thank God. He has amnesia. Well, they may not have been able to save Z Broly in the past, but here in the future, Trunks thinks he can give him a second chance. 
And that's where we're going to be leaving things for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this part of What the Broly's Were Twins, and everything in the Broly Black Arc. Next time, we're going back to the present for the events of the Tournament of Power. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to like this video and subscribe. That way, you can see it the moment it comes out. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, see you later!